December 10th, 1914, there was a massive explosion in West Orange, New Jersey, United States of America. Ten buildings in a factory owned by the legendary inventor Thomas Edison were engulfed by flames. Six to eight fire departments rushed to the scene but could not curb the chemical fueled inferno. After having tried all that he could, as Thomas Edison calmly stood there watching the fire destroy his entire life's hard work, his 24-year-old son Charles came over and stood next to him. In a childlike voice, Edison said to his son, Charlie, go and get your mother and her friends. They'll never be able to see a spectacular fire like this in their entire life. Astonished and shocked by his father's response, Charles asked Thomas Edison, our entire factory is being burnt down to ashes, Dad. Thomas Edison replied, in complete composure, Yes, our factory is being burnt down to ashes. But all the mistakes we have made so far in the factory have also been burnt down to ashes. We will start all over again tomorrow. That evening, Thomas Edison told a New York Times reporter, Although I'm 67 years old and I'm completely exhausted from running around and trying to control the fire, tomorrow I'll start all over again afresh. And so he did. The next day was a fresh beginning for Thomas Edison and his son Charles in trying to rebuild what had been destroyed by the fire. Often, this is what life does unto us. Our dreams are shattered, our hopes broken, efforts baffled. Great people, they don't cry. They try to rebuild their dreams. Great people don't give up, live up to the challenges that life throws at them. Great people don't go through they grow through the difficulties that come on their path. They start all over again with great hope, with great determination, with great grit. And that is why they reach the highest peaks of success that most people only aspire for. That is why I say, no challenges, no success. No challenges, no success.